I want to share with you my morning routine because I try to do certain things every morning that I think help me to prepare for my day, but mostly to have a better attitude throughout my day. I'm Mocha Mom, and I want to welcome you to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. And that's part of my morning routine, <laughs> setting my alarms. <laughs> so I'm sharing in my vlog some of the things that I do, and part of the things that I'm doing right now are to prepare and work on my YouTube channel and that that includes interviewing moms of all different backgrounds at all different events and then I take their advice and their hacks and their fails and everything else and put it together to give you guys videos about different things that will help you with your life and juggling career and kids. So my morning routine for the last six months or so has included part of my day where I am in bed before I get up and I'm going through certain things in my mind. So I have a saying in my mind that includes 12 different things of gratitude, 12 different items that I go through. And that's the very first thing I try to do before I even open my eyes. And then the next thing is to think about my goals. So I have, an, again, another couple sentences or two that I repeat. Uh, one has to do with career goals, one has to do with financial goals, and then I have a vision that somebody, wanna, a coach that I worked with wrote out for me. And sometimes if I have time, I read through that whole thing. It's just a few paragraphs, but it depends on how uh, hectic I feel things are. Um, I do a big stretch because someone told me recently that they think stretching helps you to not lose any height as you um, get much older and I'm short already, so I don't wanna lose any and it feels good. And then I take a look at my my list of things that I keep that help me track my time. So this is an example of it. And what I do is I have different categories on here. And throughout the day, I'm tracking how many hours I'm spending on which items, you know, whether it's personal time, time with family, work time. And in my life, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different categories of work because I run a couple of my own businesses. Uh, and basically everything I do is self-employment. And I also have some new projects I'm developing. And so I'm trying to devote more time to the new projects and delegate more things for the other projects that I don't enjoy as much anymore, but it's a constant struggle to do that because you find yourself getting pulled into the things that you don't want to do. And so you have to really be aware of your time, especially when you're working for yourself. So because I work for myself, I don't have to um, be in the office at any certain time. I do have an assistant that comes in a lot and I actually schedule her in the morning because that motivates me to get there. I'm not a morning person. I'm a night person. I worked last night. I host trivia one night a week, but last night I was doing fill-in, so it was my second night a week of hosting and I met some new people and I'm a talker so I ended up staying much later than I should have uh, talking to to the owner and some of the regulars at the place that I filled in last night so I didn't get home till after one in the morning um, but I did get up um, I first woke up around 7 fell back to sleep uh, maybe around 8 30 started going through some of the things in my mind like I said that I do before I get out of bed and then my assistant told me she's running errands and is going to be coming in a couple hours later than usual which I'm always fine with I understand work-life balance she's got three kids so I give her a lot of flexibility to be able to adjust her hours as needed. And so that worked for me because uh, the last several weeks I have been taking my daughter to work. She started a job. She's very excited. She's 16 years old. She's been wanting a job for a while. So she works generally from 1030 to 1, which is a little bit of a pain because we have to drive her there and either myself or my husband and then go pick her up. And it's about a 15 minute drive. So that's like an hour out of my day. So 
I used to mostly just kind of throw on some clothes, get myself ready quickly and, and either head to my office or run out the door if I had errands or some, you know, had to take my kids somewhere. But I'm trying these days and have been trying for a while to put on a little makeup in the morning. So especially if I want to do this kind of a vlog on a regular basis, I'm not comfortable going on camera without makeup because I spent years in TV news and it just sort of is drilled into you to always wear makeup when you're on camera. But um, this way, if I put makeup on in the morning, then I feel like, okay, if I have time and want to do a quick little segment, I can do it and I'm ready for it. So that's the basic gist of my day. I look at the weather to figure out what I'm going to wear. And unfortunately in the summer, it's warm outside and I want to dress in summer clothes, but it's cold in the house because of the air conditioning. And even though it's my house and I work from home and I should be able to control it, the other people in my house are always adjusting it. My daughter and I are usually cold and my son and husband are usually warm and so they're turning it down and we're turning it up. So um, I'm always carrying around a sweater in case I do get cold, but I still try to dress for summer weather because I want to wear my summer clothes and I hopefully will be outside at some point. I love the outside and want to make sure I get out and enjoy the day every day, especially when you live in a cold weather climate like Chicago and you have these beautiful summer days, you want to get out and enjoy them. So now that I've dropped off my daughter, I'll be heading back and once my assistant comes into the office, I'll be working on my real estate uh, business for a while and hopefully I will get to my YouTube channel and work on some uh, video stuff. I actually have a video freelance project that's been kind of moving along slowly that I need to move along a little faster so I want to prepare for that. Oh and this is another thing that I do so I have this old phone that I use <laughs> just for alarms it annoys everyone around me but I have about six things that I remind myself of throughout the day um, whether it's to pick up my daughter or to bike ride or to work on my new project the working mom warrior YouTube channel um, I don't have to remind myself to do real estate that's you know the monkey on my back that's always there that I always have to deal with but there's various other things that I set alarms for when I think I'm going to get to those things. And then, you know, when the alarm goes off, it kind of tells me, breaks up my concentration to stop what I'm doing, think about, is it time to switch gears and do the next thing? Otherwise, sometimes I just won't get to it. And I, and these are things that are important to me that I want to make sure that I get to. A lot of times at the beginning of the day, I'll make a list. Um, some A lot of times it's just whatever is in my head, you know, uh, stream of consciousness. But often I make that list on Monday and it ends up being about 15, 20 things and I expect to and hope to and want to get to all those things that day. Okay, here's my list for the day. But most of the time I don't even get to all of them until the end of the week. So I usually use my Monday list throughout the week and I'm kind of crossing things off as it goes along because I just never can um, either get to everything or be able to finish everything up because sometimes there's something on the list that involves other people as well. So I help, I hope that this gives you a glimpse into some of the things I do in the morning to kind of get me set for the day, especially attitude wise. Maybe it'll help you. If so, subscribe to my channel, Working Mom Warrior. Click on the next video and leave some comments. I'm really eager to find out if anyone's watching this and what you think of it and if you have any suggestions for things you want to hear about and especially if you have any topics or questions for working moms because every weekend I'm out talking to working moms and interviewing them and I will ask them the questions that you want to hear the answers to.